Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Everybody's got a hey, babe. Everybody's got a hey, babe. Lay down, Lay down your, your money, money and you play, play your part. Everybody's got a hey, 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 babe. Speaking of lay down your money. I just sold my Bitcoin. <laughs> I've been Chrissy you, Bitcoin. You sold it right in front of me. Right in front right of Right in front of me. And I don't know if you want to talk figures. Yes. I sold Do you my want to talk actual figures? $47,000 Bitcoin, baby. Sold it! <laughs> so $47,000 Bitcoin. You're a, you're a great guy. You're a classy gal. You're, yeah. a, you're an adult. You saved your money. You know, you, yeah. you have money to invest. You bought Bitcoin. In front of me, you hit a button on your phone. Yes. and was like, oh, I just sold the 47000 in Bitcoin. Yeah, 47000 in crypto. Which made me... I'm, I'm in the camp of... I only peripherally know about Bitcoin in the news. I know nothing about it. So I started to ask you a couple of questions. Right. right. And it is it opened a can of crypto worms. <laughs> yes. Because I don't understand I, I don't know if I'm in the camp of the minority or the majority of people right now, but I started asking you questions, and the more I asked you, the more confused I got. Then you went on the phone right. and got and financial advice from someone named Tank. Tank Sinatra. Shout out Tank Sinatra. Shout out Tank. He sold his Bitcoins this morning, and he told me he saw a video on TikTok about trusting his gut, and he sold his Bitcoins. So I said, you know what? I'm doing it too. Okay. I just want to point out a little <laughs> bit of the obvious, and God bless Tank. And I'm sure he's a great guy. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, he gal. says, "Oh, he's a big fan of you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does steroids. I, and, what? And, yeah, he's, he's Whoa, a big, I didn't. Who? He, he's open about You're that. He's saying it. He's open. He's open. He's open about using testosterone. Well, I suppose if you call yourself Tank, yes. people are going to have some questions. Yes, but I just want you to tell you what's going on here right. as a friend that's looking from the outside. Please, yeah. Okay, you bought about $50,000 worth of a currency right. that you don't have all the answers to and couldn't necessarily explain to me what it was. Right. You then went on to get the financial advice from a gentleman named Tank who who was basing his stuff on his gut about a video he saw on TikTok. Right. And Shout out I, TikTok. Follow no pressure on TikTok. No pressure on TikTok. And what I'm saying is there's a lot of red flags in the few sentences I just said. Right. Yeah. So... I started to ask you about this, and I am, I want to know if I should, from everything I'm hearing, I should run for the hills, and I shouldn't even talk about this. Well, but I also don't want to be the guy, I have FOMO, FOMO, you know, fear of, of missing out on becoming a billionaire, like I hear everyone else is oh, becoming a billionaire. you're one of the biggest FOMOs I know. I am FOMO. I'm, 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 are you kidding me? I am FOMO. <laughs> you and I, I, I and no, we are FOMO. Me too. I well, know. I mean, we're FOMO, we're, we might as well be in a FOMO sexual relationship, that's how much FOMO. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We are in a FOMO sexual relationship. I think we are. We're two guys yeah. who, who, who can't stand missing out. That's it, and and we're and we're FOMOs. That's right. Yeah, and um and so so let me explain to you what Bitcoin is. So what Bitcoin yeah. is a type of and don't go getting FOMOphobic on us. No, exactly. We're not yeah. the FOMOphobes. Right. We're we're pro FOMO. Right. Um. I. I um. Yeah. I. Uh, so Bitcoin. Please, it, please begin, and then I'll just go. I'll go like this if I have if I have something. Yeah. Okay. So Bitcoin was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> So Bitcoin was, I think, a math equation that was invented by, I think the guy's name was Sakashi Hashimoto. What's his name? I think, I want to say it's Sakashi Hashimoto. Satoshi Nakamoto. So I was very close. Satoshi Nakamoto. Who some people don't even think is a real person. If he was a real person, I would say he's most likely from Ireland. Okay. <laughs> some people don't think he's a real person. Is that a red flag? Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. I mean, you know. You know, it's like, it's like I'll, I'll take a quote. I'll take a quote from the from the young actor in the movie The Santa Claus. You know, a million. You know, a million dollars is. There, you've never seen a million dollars in cash. How do you know it exists? You don't know. Mm, and this is strengthening your case. That's strengthening my case. Anything okay. from that movie The Santa Claus. Right. Shout out Tim Allen. Let's start from the beginning. Shout out Tim Allen. <laughs> let's let's start from they the beginning. They have a home improvement show coming out. Who? Tim Allen and and Takashi Nakamoto. No, the, well, some people think Takashi Takashi. Satoshi Koshimoto Shimoto and Takashi 69 could be the same person. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen Satoshi Nakanodo and, and Medea in the same room? Never. 
I've never seen or Banksy. I've never seen Takashi Nakamoto and Banksy okay. in the same room. Never seen him in the same room. Okay, let's just start. Would you like to speak more, or can I begin with my question? Just tell me. Whatever. It's going to be a free form conversation. This is going to be a thing that may be an educational app. Absolutely. You know, a lot of times we, we're running all around, but maybe if we buckle down, yeah. you and I will get to the bottom of Bitcoin by the end of this. I know about Bitcoin, so you ask me. Okay. Go ahead. What is Bitcoin? <laughs> so Bitcoin, what it is, is a type of cryptocurrency okay. that is- Crypto mu- meaning uh, encrypted. Right? Encrypted. I think so. I don't know what crypto... I thought it just meant on the internet. Okay. How does Bitcoin work? Each Bitcoin is basically a computer file... I know Which is this. stored in a digital wallet app on a smartphone or computer. Makes sense. Okay. So... People can send Bitcoins, a.k.a. computer files, or part of a computer file, to your digital wallet, right. and you can send Bitcoins or digital files to other people, and you can sell things and let people pay with Bitcoins. Eh, that doesn't do anything for me at all. So Anything at all. At all. I was on the app Clubhouse. Shout out Clubhouse. Follow me at Christy Comedy. I was at Clubhouse, and I got into a Clubhouse room with Elon Musk. I finagled my winner. I got in, and I- Wait, wait, wait. Eh. I'm going to stop you every time. Okay. Fin- how'd you finagle your way into a clubhouse room? I just got on it. Yeah, is it like, is there like a digital doorman where you're like, yeah, I'm on the list? No, yeah, club. <laughs> that's what basically clubhouse is. It's like a digital, there's so much, dude, you don't even know about the digital world. You can buy art. This, this painting is great, but it's like digitally, this painting's worth twice as much. Digital art is, <laughs> digital art is, I can't even tell you about digital art. Or NFTs, non-fungible tokens. You don't even know about a non-fungible token. Now I can't, un- I can't tell if you're being facetious. Google NFT, non-fungible token. It's a it's a token that's not fungible, but it's going to be worth something. Well, a token for what? Based on what? What does the token represent? A token? It's all in cyberspace, babe. Oh, is this another form of cryptocurrency? This is another form. A non-fungible token. It's a cryptocurrency let, token let, that's indivisible and unique. NFTs offer myriad options for creating and trading digital assets, such as original artwork and blockchain integrated collectible games like CryptoKitties. You got to have a CryptoKitty. Okay, time out. <laughs> Just time out. Yeah. I don't understand that paragraph. Let's take it line by line. Okay. Are you kidding me? I'm going to do a deep dive. We're getting granular today. Non-fungible token. Okay, fungible. I need to brush up on my... I've heard the word, but I don't want to... I want to know accuracy. Fungible? Fungible. we're, We're Googling what the word fungible... What does fungible mean? It means... It's an adjective. It's able to replace or be replaced by another identical item, mutually interchangeable. It is by no means the world's only fungible commodity. So that's what, so, so, so fungible. This, this is a fungible commodity. Well, this is, Bitcoin is, but the NFT is, a, it's a non-fungible commodity. So there's nothing else like this, the NFTs. Well, there's something else like the Bitcoins? Yeah, well, there's other types of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, um, then there's Ethereum, which is like Ethereum, I was told by Tank Sinatra, is like if Bitcoin is an app, Ethereum's like the app store that mines the Bitcoins. Let's go back to, okay, one reason for this is the fact that there are more than 4,000 cryptocurrencies in existence as of January 21. So there are, so Bitcoin is one type of right, cryptocurrency. Right, but it's the big one. It's the biggie. But there's 4,000 types? Elon Musk said in the Clubhouse meeting, birth control. Birth control. <laughs> Elon Musk said in the Clubhouse meeting that... That, oh, by the way, before we do anything else, I just want to give a quick shout out to Tom Brady Tom for winning Brady. the Super Bowl. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, just uh, won this just week. Yeah. Absolute stuff. I mean, just a Super Bowl. Who would have known? He, he went to Tampa. Tampa was in the, that's where they played the Super Bowl. Yeah. Leaving the Pats. He just, I mean, it's unbelievable. Oldest guy in the NFL. Congrats. Congrats also, though, to the Kansas, Kansas City, City Chiefs. Chiefs. Um, so, uh, um, with Elon Musk said in the clubhouse meeting that, Buying cryptocurrency, buying buying Bitcoin specifically right now is like buying property on Park Avenue in the 1920s in Manhattan. A lot of people didn't want to buy Park Avenue property in Manhattan in the 1920s because they were just building Grand Central Station and there was all these issues. But if you bought property in the 1920s in Park Avenue, I mean, your kids are sitting, you're like a Vanderbilt or something. I mean, you're you like got a Vanderbilt, yeah, money. Yeah. So he was like, it's going to go to $100,000 by the end of this year and then all the way up to a million dollars in five years. So I was buying a Bitcoin for my children's future, which I just sold. So that's... So I'm telling the children I don't care about them, I guess, because I sold their future. I understand Elon Musk is Elon v- Musk. very smart and very wealthy and SpaceX and Tesla, Tesla. and PayPal. And he made and, PayPal. And, and, and all that. And he named his kid Pi or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Some, some equation. I understand. That's how we pay like Pimp. We pay Pimp through PayPal. Pay, PayPal. <laughs> uh, thank you, Elon Musk. Shout out to Elon Musk. It's just Pimp Pal. I, I would like to, I, I see, I don't know a lot about Elon Musk. He's someone I should really start listening to his interviews and reading up on him because he just seems, just for the fascination of yeah. it, this person is is working on Elon another Musk. level. And I, I, I can't tell if the perception of Elon Musk publicly 
is that he is just amazing and uh, entertaining and prolific and smart and profound and wh- or or if he's like like eccentric to the point where he's a little bit crazy and maybe he's both do people think he's great or douchey or I don't know I I've think heard, I felt like I've seen different Listen, and painted in different lights. Elon Musk has his haters, yeah. but I think Elon Musk is a guy. We know about haters, though. We know about. Are you kidding They're me? They're gonna hate. They, they go. They go hate. Yeah. Elon Musk is a guy who is. By the way, he was so quiet as a child. His parents thought he was deaf. So that that's just a little quick. Fit. Musk is Musk his real last name because Musk is another be. word I don't love. I don't love a Musk. Musk. I don't like that name. Elon Musk. I think this is his real name, but Elon Musk, who, by the way, is a South African kid. Um, uh, he he, but he moved to Canada. It's he, he's got he's, his life is crazy. He's his got like four are baby mamas. May Musk. I love the name Errol. May Musk is some name. Do you think that I would get along with Elon Musk? That's Elon Musk's you, mother, from, by the way. That's she look, Elon Musk. She looks mom? like a, they they all look like villains in in oh superhero. My God, she, yeah. She literally looks like like I mean I don't mean this in a in a weird way like I was in a, I don't mean it in a mean way but she looks like Cruella Deville in a way she does she's got a fiery like uh, yeah she's got a fire like she's just got a look to her it's behind cool. the eyes she got the white hair and a red the picture we're looking at at least right it's cool I mean she I, looks like dynamite how old dynamite. is that woman uh sixty eight I what? would guess she, that's a sixty eight year old <laughs> I, woman. I took a guess I she took a guess better than me yeah well you and don't I'm have a your forty four year old woman well because you don't have your you don't have your money in Bitcoin. Wow, that was like I guess if you're a, if you're if Elon Musk is worth what? A uh, hundred and fifty billion. The only guy who's got more is, is Jeffy B. Jeffy B. Jeffy Bays. Wow. So if you're worth one fifty billion, your your mom's gonna be popping out collar like that in well, a nice pantsuit. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what his. But I don't know what his worth is right now because he put one point five billion Bitcoin. Okay. I got it. Let's. Let, we have to unpack all of this. Let's unpack From it. what you know about Elon Musk and what you know about me, do you think me and him will get along? A thousand percent, you guys why, will get along. Why do you think that? Because I think that you're both intriguing guys. I think you both like to. I think you both like to ask a lot of questions. Mm. I think you both like to, um, you know, uh, uh, get get risky and 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 place bets on things. Yeah. Um, that you would, believe would, in. Would I think and would he think that like would I would he think I'm like like a you know. Fun guy, like a good time trolley. I think Elon. I think Elon Musk would have a good time. Well, he's a good. He's a good time trolley. Elon, I would say well, Elon we both Musk good time trolleys and class acts. I would. I would describe both these as as GTCs, good time trolleys, and class acts, <laughs> and class acts. So we would get along, no doubt, hundred percent. All right. So he's dumping one and a half billion, which is like one fraction of a tenth of a percent of his net worth. It's what. Let, let me let me be honest. When I, I immediately sold my forty seven thousand in Bitcoin because it went down a couple of thousand, he's not selling any Bitcoin. So he's putting his, but he didn't invent Bitcoin. No, but he's a he's. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's a market disruptor. He, big time market disruptor. Right. Okay, so Shikashi Hashimoto uh, right. invented it. But we don't even know if that person exists. Nobody knows who that is. So we, well, how do we? We have a name right. to go with the inventor of Bitcoin, but we don't have an identity or a photo of him. Right. And no one can confirm if that's a real human being. Now, what about the government? The government's got to be looking into this man, right? He created something that is going to affect the banking industry and may or may not be right. the wave of the future or a huge scam. I don't know what it is, but this person is named. Well, here you Telling me then that he does not have a social security and we're not all over him? Well, here we go. Bitcoin was developed by a clandestine group using the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto. It's not, it's not a, a real, real person. person. So we know it's not a real person. So a clandestine group is creating something under a pseudonym and even Elon Musk is throwing billions of dollars into it. Well, those aren't red flags to you? No, because the mascot of Bitcoin is the honey badger. So I, I invest in the honey badger. <laughs> well, big. Is that true? That's true. Yeah. Go, go, Google Bitcoin well, honey mascot. Badger honey badger is Bitcoin's artificial all. animal mascot. Yeah, the honey badger does a not. A bug mess led to the accidental creation of 184 billion Bitcoin in 2010. The maximum number of Bitcoins isn't really 21 million. Um, a small unit that one Satoshi is already in use. Uh, carnivory or eating mostly or only meat has become a fad in the Bitcoin community. <laughs> so, okay. Right now, truly, God's honest, what the f*** are you talking about? What is going on? You just read the five most biggest facts about Bitcoin, and it's there's a Bitcoin community, I guess, of people that right. are pro-Bitcoin yep. and Bitcoin proponents. Right. And now a fad going on within that community is that they like to eat meat. Right. Why is this even peripherally uh, important to the investing of money and funds? Why are they eating meat to the people that believe in Bitcoin? Like, this is getting into a level that seems like it is some weird or well, I don't know what this is. Right. This is 
this is very, very, it feels like we're on the cusp of something that is, I, I, this feels like life is going very fast past me. Well, listen, I understand that, but I'm, you got to understand, you know, I, 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 my nickname's Chrissy Chaos. I've had, you know, I've, I have a child with, you know, a, the, the, my first child I had with the, my girlfriend, I, I, I knew her for two hours and we, we had a child. Right. And then, and then, and then we, and now we're having a second. She may as well have been Bitcoin. She may as well have been Bitcoin. So my point is I live in the fast lane and I bought it, but now I've sold it. So I'm so in and you, out. Are you changing lanes? No, I still have my money. I still have my money in the Coinbase account. So I'm waiting for the price of Bitcoin to drop it to the 30s. And then I'm back in, baby. I sold the Bitcoin. I sold it because Tank Sinatra, who is who is watching these. I know that's a very nice fellow. He, Tank Great Sinatra guy. is his, his entertainment name, correct? His entertainment name. His real first name is George. So a guy named George I trust. I trust yeah. a guy named George. So Tank Sinatra. Yeah, let me say this. Just, I'm so sorry. I'm going to stop you every time I have a Please question. Don't. Please don't. Sinatra, the Sinatra estate, they're okay with him? So, Tank Sinatra. So far. Because I guess other people are named Sinatra. It's not just Frank Sinatra's lineage. Right. Well, this so, was Frank Sinatra Jr. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, the Sinatra family doesn't own Sinatra. They don't own. And S Tanks don't own Tank. They don't own. So right. he's fine. He's fine. But that's just his his entertainment name. Yes. But, uh, you know, it's hard when you say, like, well, Tank told me to. Yeah. No, when I told my... I know. he. Yeah, okay. When I told my family, like, hey, we're going to have to delay buying the house that we were supposed to buy because I've invested the money into Bitcoin with our friend Tank Sinatra, it wasn't met was it with... Was quiet after that? It was quiet. Yeah. Jasmine was like, I don't, can we talk in the next room? It was one of those things where the kids are just listening, they're looking up at me, and then I said, well, talk, let, let's talk in the next room. Okay, so, so when did you first feel confident enough to buy Bitcoin, and, and how did that happen? So pretend I'm you. Okay. Like, X amount of time ago. Okay. And I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm like, you know, I'm where you were on a timeline somewhere, right? Sure. I mean, you were me at one point. We're like, Absolutely. what is that? Right. Take me from the journey from where I am to where you are now. I sold, I, I owned an apartment in Brooklyn. I sold it. Okay. When I got the check yeah. uh, for the closing check, you know, decent amount of money, I said, I want to put some of this money in, you know, like, uh, you know, the investment, a 401k, put some of the money away for, for my daughter's college. Conservative. And then one of them you wanted to go. I wanted to go risky. Straight risk. I wanted to go risky balls risky to the wall. Business. I wanted to go. I wanted to get into an investment with no condom on. I wanted to get in there. Raw dog. I wanted, to, gay. I wanted to say, let's, let's let it happen. Whatever let it may fly. be. Well, we're yeah. having fun. You got me in a pandemic. You got me chained up. But now the chains are off because I'm going to go into Bitcoin. So I talked. You to didn't need a financial advisor to buy the Bitcoin. I talked to my financial advisor. He strongly recommended. He told me exact quote is my fiduciary fiduciary responsibility to tell you this is a bad investment. <gasps> and I said, "You're fired." Uh, wow. No, no. He told me not to do it. Is is what's happening? Is the actual banking regulated industry revolting against Bitcoin because it's about to disrupt them and screw them, or are people flipping now and? And we're seeing a swell where where even mainstream is going to start accepting Bitcoin. Which one is it, Chris? Yeah, I think that right now they may be shorting the stock, just like Robinhood did. They could be shorting the Bitcoin stock, and then these big billionaires are going to try to get in and buy it at a lower price. And that's what I'm waiting for is to try to get in there and smooth it in. I probably shouldn't have sold. I'm regretting selling it right now. And as a matter of fact, as soon as this podcast is over, I may go right back on my Coinbase account and buy it up right back but why? Again. When you think it's going to plummet fifteen, twenty thousand dollars Because I had a lot of coffee and I'm making rash decisions. <laughs> But this is not the this is the Wild West, is it not? Wild West. So is I guess if we're really going to pull back a little bit, right. and shine a light on things, really we feel we're under the guise that government regulation is regulation means security. But it, this in, is not in, regulated. In, in essence, everything is smoke and mirrors. Right. Right. Do you really feel like also even government regulated money? Like there's cr criminals at the highest level in in the stock market and all this stuff that are basically using people and using people's money against us. And really, no money is safe anywhere. Never. So so it's, it's you have it's, your money in a bank account right now, but it's not really there. They're taking it and giving it to right. other people. So this is just something like that, but different, but, but different. newer. Right. Like Newprin, little yellow, different. That's an old deep cut. Wayne's World. They did that? Newprin, little yellow, yellow different. different. I remember it from te the tennis commercials. Oh, no, they, they did that in the movie Wayne's World. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I probably knew come that, out with a new Wayne's World. I haven't thought of it in a while. Are they going to come out with Wayne's World 3? Did you guys see the commercial Wayne's World 
they actually brought Wayne's World back to I do did a see spot that. with Cardinal. For the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. These yeah. 4K commercials really show a lot of makeup. I know. That's yeah. what I thought when I saw that commercial. But, yeah. I mean, those guys are, are amazing. They've been around. Um, no, no, here we no, go. no. I'm just saying, like, you could see all the makeup. they were, And it was distracting to me when I saw, like, wow, they're, like, caked in makeup. But it's these 8K cameras. We're shooting in 4K. We're shooting in 4K. And, and, I, and believe me, when I... When I when the only I, podcast to be shooting in 4K. When I play, when I play these on my, my television downstairs and yeah. just get naked and oil myself up and watch them, sure. I notice all my blemishes and everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I, it's a, no, but we're the only ones to do it in 4K. Shout out Homeless Pimp. Yeah. Um, so the reason why, when you asked me, you said, when, when did I say I'm going in all on Bitcoin? I had two back-to-back calls, one from Tank Sinatra, whose real name's George, and my other friend, his name's Donnie Tsunami, real name Don DePetta. So, oh, from Atlanta. You know Don DePetta yeah, from yeah. Atlanta. Shout out yeah. Don DePetta. His father owns the Atlanta, uh, his family owns the Atlanta Punchline, legendary club in Atlanta. Go check it out. But Don Great DePetta, he, AK, he gave Santino COVID. He gave Santino COVID. Yes, yes. AK, AK, his, his, name, his name is, so from Tank Sinatra and Donnie Tsunami, <laughs> they both told me to get in Bitcoin and get in it big because they've been studying it. They've been on Clubhouse. They've been doing it. So I went in and I went in big. So they've been studying it. I was up $10,000 last week. They've been week. on Clubhouse. So they've been on an app that launched recently yep. that is booming, but we don't, no one even knows what that that's about, but they right. were on that app, right? Doing research on Bitcoin, right? It's, you know, it just seems like um, one of two things: either it's really like uh, information coming in from a lot of sources that I don't know if I'd hitch my wagon to, or you're just really getting in on the on the cusp of something cutting edge that n- people are too scared or uh, they don't understand enough to to get on. So it's either you're going to hit it's it's risk reward here, right? You're either right. going to hit really big right or you're going to lose really big. That's what that's how I feel this is right now. Yeah, so it's one or the other. So I I but that I don't know where I am. I've right been now. hearing about Bitcoin. I have some friends that have been preaching about Bitcoin to me for years. Right. And honestly, I guess if I listened to them years ago, I would have been part of this last boom. If you ha- let me tell you something, if you would have listened to them, let's say in 2012 or something like that, and 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 you could have bought whatever the price of Bitcoin, you I think the, at one point the price of Bitcoin was hundreds of dollars. So if you would have said, you know what, give me 30 Bitcoin, I'm going to take three grand, give me 30 of them. If it was 100 bucks, give me 30 right. of them. I would have a gold toilet right now. You, you'd have you'd have even right now you'd have even with it plummeting. I could buy a ship. You'd have forty five thousand dollars times 30. What is forty five thousand times 30? You were talking uh, fifteen million dollars or something 45, like that. Forty-five thousand times thirty. What's forty-five thousand times thirty? Fifteen million-ish. Yeah, because I'm saying if you bought thirty bitcoins back then, because when they were a couple Just hundred dollars, million. you'd have yeah. thir- you'd have a hundred and thirty. What thirteen five mil? No one. No. What one million three hundred fifty thousand. You'd have one million three hundred fifty thousand okay, dollars. That's what it is. Right in the bitcoin. I, I, I added an extra zero. But there's people who, you know, there are people who bought them when they were cents, and they bought. They have three hundred. Let me just go back to the basics. What is Bitcoin. Shikashi Hashimoto yeah. made m- their math equations that you have to, he wanted, or the conglomerate, or people, some people say he's not real. I believe him to be real, but that's just, it's neither here nor there. I, um, I, he wanted an alternative to currency. It was like the US dollar and the whatever, the pound. Is he, he, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I don't mean to. Right. But it's about where you were, and that's it. He has the authority. To be like, I'm going to create an alternate currency without repercussion? I think, I don't know. That's the thing. I think he started to make, he started to make these math equations and I don't know. Let me ask you a question. This guy, Sakashi, goes to Moshe Bezpash. Right. Uh, who is just, that might be a pseudonym, right? We don't know. He, he's like, all right, he hits enter. And yes. he's done making the Bitcoin. Like yeah. the, the, he create his whole, con- the, everything he conceptualized is f- to fruition. Yes. Who's the first person where he's like, guess what? And then they bought Bitcoin. How did it get from him to you? Who immediately was like, right now, Bitcoin's been around for a cool decade, and now Elon Musk is pushing it. But let's go back in time, right? right to 2008 is so when it was made. So who, who are these ado- early adopters that we're confused now, but a decade ago, they were like, I get it, and here's all my money. Pimp's got the answer. Well, I'm pretty sure, like, back in the day, you could just mine them and get, like, a whole Bitcoin for free. What does that mean? Mine what? 
Bitcoins how do you are created. Mine a Bitcoin. It's a reward. It's basically the reward you get when you figure out this math problem. I realize I sound like someone in 1981 that's <laughs> 70, being like a VCR. <laughs> what? But, yeah. but 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 please explain. How do you? What do you mean mine a Bitcoin? Bitcoin mining can be done by a computer novice requiring basic software and specialized hardware. The software required is to mine. The software required to mine is straightforward to use and open source, meaning free to download and run. A prospective miner needs a Bitcoin wallet and encrypted online bank account to hold what is earned. Still don't know what that means at all. Regardless of the numbers of miners, it still takes 10 minutes to mine one Bitcoin. What? Yeah. What? What? It sounds like my this daughter made this up. This, 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 it literally sounds like someone made it up. Yeah. Now, so now we're talking that... It- it takes 10 minutes to mine one, no matter no matter what ISP you have. Yeah. It's going to take 10 Kip minutes. Kip, for some reason, just Googled what is Verizon, baloney. I have the Verizon top tier package. You do? Yes. Wow. That's How, a little, is it going to take me 10 minutes to mine a Bitcoin? It, um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, let me ask you this. Please. I'm clear. When I go to the TSA, I, 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 I'm pre-check I'm and clear. clear. Does it I'm, take me 10 minutes to mine a Bitcoin? That's right. From TSA pre-check and clear? I know, because they got all your info. <laughs> 100%. I'm a, I'm a Stargate's rewards member. I am too. So what about, it's still doesn't 10 minutes to me? That doesn't pay off. doesn't pay off. Great. Shots. By mining, you can earn cryptocurrency without having to put down money for it. Don't know what that means. Why? Pimp why? Knows. Why? Pimp knows. Why? So but looks, why? It looks like mining is really doing paperwork for them because you're part of the blockchain that is the ledger of blockchain. There's another bar- buzzword I keep hearing. Bitcoin miners receive Bitcoin as a reward for completing blocks of verified transactions, which are added to the blockchain. Again, another paragraph with three sentences in it <laughs> that I don't understand how this applies to me in the flesh and blood today on our Lord's Day, February something something 2021. Right. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Sal. It's kind of like being a Catholic, as we talked about in a previous episode. I can't explain to you how he turned the bread into... Uh, it's like George Michael. You got to have faith. You got to have faith. But I, I don't know how he turned the water into wine. I don't know how he turned the bread loaves into fish. I don't know how the guy did it, but I believe I got tattoos of it on my body. Same with Bitcoin. I'm back in. I'm buying back in. Are you <laughs> telling me that you invested $50,000 American and you don't really know what Bitcoin is? And if you are telling me that, what percentage of people investing in Bitcoin Coin fall into your slice of the pie. I yes and yes. How many investors are blindly investing in Bitcoin, affecting market trends without knowing what they're doing? Is this the case of the blind leading the blind tonight at eleven? Please go ahead. I would say upwards of seventy percent of people are doing exactly what I'm this doing. This is just you from you. They have yeah. no idea. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you, Elon Musk is my Jesus. So I'm I'm having faith and believing in him because he said on Clubhouse, which is like a modern day. He said on this is I, I, was, I feel, I feel like I am going insane. Yeah. This is what I feel. Clubhouse came out a cool month ago. Right. And you're eavesdropping on the world's richest person who's telling you he dumped money into a currency that is really computer files created by a pseudonym that you don't fully understand. But Tank told you to sell. So you're going to sell. But your gut's telling you to buy. So when we finish talking today, you're going to buy. I'm going to buy. All right. Because I support Sakashi Hashimoto and I support the Japanese. Here's another thing I keep seeing. Yep. People invested in this and forgot their passwords. Yeah. And there is no resolution. No. There's no one took, there's no IT. Nope. There's no customer service. No. Nope. There's no, and you have certain amount of times to get your password back. And if you don't, you are expelled from the thing that you purchased and you will never have access to the millions upon millions, sometimes hundreds of millions of yep. dollars that you accumulated and is rightfully yours. And then you are destined to live a life. Yep. Locked out from your own fortune, which will lay dormant until the day you die and no one will ever hear another word about it. It's a cold world. It's what it what is, baby. What is going on? The pa- <laughs> yep, the password, You if, if, if you lose your pass... But listen, all that stuff is when... This is when, like, Bitcoin wasn't really popping off. Now, Bitcoin is lit, as the kids say. Right, AF. So on, so on Coinbase... On Coinbase, which is the app I use, and there's another app called Gemini, you don't need passwords and stuff like that, and you're insured up to $250,000. So if, I, if, if I lose my bit, if I lose my coins, as long as $250,000, I'll get it back. Do you know this? Because when you went into the app store and hit get, 
Yep. One of the bullet points was, hey, you're insured. I know this. You do your due diligence to make sure that this app, which is new, is really trustworthy. I genuinely just didn't even look at any research. (laughs) At Donnie Tsunami. (laughs) At Donnie Tsunami on Instagram. Told me to do it, and I did it. Because Donnie Tsunami was like, look, dude. He was like, I'm out of, I'm an out-of-work actor right now. All I've been doing is looking at the fucking TV screen, binding, mining bitcoins. So I'm telling you, use Coinbase. But he, but Donnie Tsunami just got a job, so congrats to Donnie Tsunami. He's working for BET. Bitcoin mining. Shout out BET. Love BET. Bitco- we know you're watching. Bitcoin mining consumes about as much energy as a mid-sized country you thought i was gonna say sedan you thought i was gonna say mid-sized sedan i said mid-sized country what does that mean mid-sized country i would say uh, ireland is a mid-sized country Uh, okay so bitcoin france so what does that say bitcoin's current energy usage is estimated at 73 terawatts hours this is a little more than the consumption of the nation of chile chile which has a population of 18 million. <laughs> it should be kept in mind that Bitcoin mining is only economical if it uses cheap power as an input. Such power tends to be renewable, such as hydro and geothermal. Assuming Bitcoin scales via additional layers, such as the Lightning Network, which doesn't impose additional energy costs, Bitcoin may eventually become a more efficient use of resources than the traditional monetary there you system. Go. Got it? What? What? Yeah. And I'm in my 40s. So eliminate anyone in their 40s and up. Right. Eliminate those people. Okay. So now I'm looking at 30s and below. Right. Who understands this? I think the younger kids understand this more than we do. My dad yesterday, I told him we went to a doctor's appointment. and my Everything okay? Yes, everything's okay. We were checking in. And the woman said, I said, can I go up there with my dad? Can you and just she said, down to number if nine? you were allowed to go up there with your dad, there would have been an email sent to him with a pass for you to come in. And I looked at my dad and I said, did you get an email? And my dad was like, I don't really get email. I don't understand email. And so I was like, go upstairs alone. I'll wait in the lobby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, eliminate anyone from my age up to just, just that they're going to understand what this means. Right. Who is understanding this? Are are are, are people are kids th- are people this technology literate that this is a am I an idiot or is this is this hard to grasp? I, it's hard to grasp. I think it's just a great uh, practice and peer pressure, and it's probably a few people making all the money. Right, and we're not going to really be multi millionaires off it. They know you're homosexual, so they. Satoshi Nakamoto, by the way, disappeared right after Gavin Anderson went to the CIA. So as soon as Gavin Anderson went, not Anderson, Anderson went to the CIA, Satoshi Nakamoto went sayonara. Gavin Anderson was the former maintainer of the Bitcoin core code base. That's what it is. In June of 2012, a.k.a. almost nine years ago, Gavin, Gavin went to the CIA headquarters to tell them about Bitcoin. According to Gavin's words on Bruce Wagner's Bitcoin podcast, Satoshi's disappearance may have been linked to the CIA meeting. Anderson said that he hadn't received an email from Satoshi since informing him of the meeting with the CIA. In 2014, Gavin appeared before the Council of Foreign Relations to present similar information. Again, I don't know what any of that means. No. The Buffy Comforter, I can't say enough about the Buffy Comforter. My girlfriend's pregnant right now. She literally, she this is her third child. She's saying that this pregnancy is getting easier and easier every day since we got the Buffy. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, she used to night sweat. You have to understand how much she used to night sweat. I mean, it would be like literally somebody took her in the middle of the night, threw her in her pool, and then put her back in the bed. Gross. In night sweat. Gross. No more night sweats because the breeze Buffy regulates the temperature. And for all you vegans out there, it's a hundred percent plant-based design. Wow, the you breeze can is, eat the sheets. It's made of eucalyptus fabric inside and out. It's softer than cotton. It, it naturally soothes the skin. It's earth-friendly. It's hypoallergenic. It's cruelty-free. It brings. I'm well telling you, the, this is cr- ridiculous. It's full of eucalyptus debris. Don't let it near a koala bear. You can try a comforter in your own bed for free. Not Sal, because I haven't sent him one yet. They're sending it to me. If you don't love it, you return it at no cost. Let me tell you something right freaking now. Buffy, if you're just going to scroll down a little bit, Pippi, Buffy is one of those things 
where I'm telling you, it got sent to the house. At first, I was like, what is this? The Buffy? Because you're thinking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You're thinking, yeah. what does Buffy mean? And yeah. then it, it's this beautiful bedding. I put it down. I took a three-hour nap. My kid was w- walking around the house. My five-year-old, walk, she turned on the oven. I had no idea because I'm asleep on the Buffy. Are you serious? Sleep on the Buffy. No, I thought of Buffy chickens at first. Right. No, tell from my old neighborhood. Okay, here we go. <laughs> If you go to Buffy.co, because listen to me, a company like Buffy doesn't have time to put the N- M in. Yeah. It's Buffy.co, C-O, and you enter Hey Babe. That's H-E-Y-B-A-B. You ready for this? Yeah. $20 off. $20 for a Spanish-speaking audience. $20 yeah, that's off. Yeah, that's Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, who yeah. might or may not be canceled. He did some questionable things in history, but that's another <laughs> podcast. Oh, that no, I stopped that one. <laughs> Buffy.co. <laughs> Buffy.co without the M. Buffy.co. Enter Hey Babe, H E Y B A B E. $20 off. It's unbelievable. Sal doesn't know what I'm talking about because he didn't get the Buffy. I did. You know what I was thinking about the other day? How, I, how, how could I know? And what I wish you would see more of, I love Ray J, Brandy's brother. Oh, of course. I love this yeah. guy. I love, I love Wait his music. Wait a minute. Uh, I know his songs. Yeah, I love his music. I love some of the videos he's been in. I love Ray J. And I just wish I heard more <laughs> about him, but I haven't seen anything. From Ray J lately, have you? Are you nuts? Are you nuts so in your head? Yes. He has his own headphones. What? Raycons, baby. Raycons are from Ray J? What? You don't know nothing about that? I love Raycons. They're wireless headphones, and they, 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 they hook up to Bluetooth nice and easy. They got six hours of playtime. <laughs> Well, now, yeah. yeah. So you do know Raycons. Of course I know Raycon. I had them in my ears yesterday. You had a pair of Raycons in your ear yesterday and didn't know that they were owned by Ray J. And today you brought up Ray J on your own. I literally this morning had my Raycon headphones in, was listening to Brandy sitting up in my room, sitting yeah. here thinking about you. But the reason why I was listening to that song is because I wanted to feel closer to Ray J. And I didn't realize I, Ray J's actually inside of me. <laughs> you, you, Ray J was inside of you like many of, you know... Ray J was inside your ears. Yes. Like, he was like, like my ears. no, no. I'm saying, like, usually he's inside your ears because of the sonic. Right. The sonicness of it. But right. now he's physically inside you. He was, Ray J was physically inside of me through Ray, Raycon headphones. And I and all you have to do, if you want to get Ray J inside you, no right strings now, attached. No strings attached. Literally, buyraycon.com slash hey babe. The website is buy, B Y U, Raycon, R A Y C O N dot com slash hey babe, H E Y B A B E. Get Ray J inside you. <laughs> so, Sal, I really, the last like couple of weeks, I've been really having like a rock hard penis mm. for most of the day. Interesting. Because, because I've been using Blue Chill. Mm. I've been using, because I had those problems when I, I couldn't get my penis up and nothing I do, it just, my dick would, it just wouldn't go up. But now I've been going to bluechew.com and I put in the promo code, hey babe, mm. and I've been getting it for free. No, that's not, nothing in this life is free. Well, you get $5 off shipping. No, I that's think. not true at all. <laughs> you spend $5 for shipping and you get it for free. You spend five dollars. I was setting you up to be like, no, there is things in life that you get for free, and then I thought you were going to hit them with the great deal that we have for them, but we floundered, and we're not going to edit this out because we're men of the people. Because we're men of the people, and I'm proud to stand by my erection. And if you just go to bluechew.com promo code Hey Babe, yes, then what exactly you're going to you, just you pay try it for free? Shipping. You you get your first shipment free, and and then you just pay five beans for the shipping. That's, That's it. it. So you're paying for the shipping, you're getting the product for free. You can't beat that. That you can't beat. Think and about the, the the ads we do: ten percent off, twenty percent off. No, this, that, the other. This no. is free. Free promo code Hey Babe. Pay five dollars shipping. Bluechew.com. That's it. So remember the other day we were talking, and you said to me, you looked at me, and I said, Chris. How do I live a happier life? I don't remember that, but continue. But I said to you, yeah. if you don't remember, because you were yeah. living a not happy life. You were li- days you- ago, I was in a fog, so don't blame you me. I didn't remember. You weren't living a happy life a few days ago. But what did I say to you? When you said, how do I live a happier life? Where did I tell you to go? You told me to go to betterhelp.com, and you told me to put backslash hey, babe. Right. And get 10% off my first month. What this is, is it's online counseling. That's what you told me. About. Right. And did you take me up on the offer? I did not, but I planned to. Right. Is that bad? I mean, i just been busy the last couple of days. No, because I wanted to tell you. That's why I'm bringing it up to you. I took it up on myself because I said, you know what? Sal's not going to do it because he's not invested in getting in happier life. No, I am. And I believe in this. Oh. I I am and I believe in it. And, and, you know, I don't have the time nor the energy uh, to go out to to get get counseling. Plus, I'm a loud talker. 
But Sal, but that's By what nature, I'm saying. I'm always afraid someone's going to he hear me from the waiting room. You know what, Sal? And that's why I'm happy to be doing this and we have this all on camera is you're not a good, you're not listening to me because I told you, Sal, as I've been telling you, as we've been friends for years, you don't listen to me. I told you that betterhelp.com slash hey babe is online counseling. Oh. You don't have to go out. You go, the therapist comes on your computer. And if you put in the promo code hey babe at betterhelp, H E L P dot com, you get 10% of your first month because you've been telling me you have no money. 10%? That's amazing. That's like no tax and then some. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm low on funds. So. You're low on funds. I mean, you know, I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, you know, I mean, you don't get paid for the I stuff love you, you everything do. Everything is shifting to online now. Yes. <laughs> everything yes. is shifting to yeah. online. Why should this be any different? It's discreet. Yeah. It's convenient. It's affordable. It's probably more affordable than other online services. 100% it's more affordable yeah. than other online services that I may or may not be on that my father doesn't know about. But he does know about and My family's very supportive of me being on betterhelp.com and using the promo code HEYBABE for getting 10% off my first month because everyone wants to save a little scratch here and there. It's true, and it's better help. H-E-L-P. I want a happy wife and a happy life, and I have a happy life. <clears throat> and if you've been thinking about it, why not take the leap? There's nothing to lose. Try it, because in, in these times, we all could use a little mental massage. Absolutely. We could yeah. use a mental massage or, or a massage after hours, but I, if we want to go mental, we go mental to betterhelp.com slash hey babe. Oh. So I swear to Christ, dude, I, I'm trying to, I'm really trying. I'm, I'm, I'm the voice of the listener, which I believe is most of the listeners okay. who have the same questions as me. And I'm telling you right now, nothing, it's only becoming more complicated for me. Right. I, I don't understand this. Is it, it I, I, and I'm 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 an I'm a very smart man. No, I wasn't even going to say that, but I I am not an idiot. Right. I right. don't I don't believe so. I mean, I you know, lay lay the facts out for me. I'm pragmatic to my right, approaches. Right. I will say right, that. Right. And so this seems like a little bit of a a little bit of like it's taking many leaps of faith and many like little things of like what? And if I don't get all that together where I can say I understand this, I'll be hesitant, but it'll be my FOMO sexuality right. that makes me, despite all that, be like, I'm going to put money into do, this. By the way, do your parents know you're a FOMO sexual? <laughs> <sighs> I think they've known since I was little. Me too. Yeah, without yeah, a, I think they've known since I was little. And that's what I love I about my parents. Personality. I just want to look to the camera and say to my mom and dad, like, thank you so much for never actually making me have to say that I'm a FOMO sexual. You just understood and loved me for the FOMO sexual behavior I exhibited since I was a, a small child. So I appreciate that, especially you, Dad, for just saying my son's a FOMO sexual yeah. and I support him. And that's probably why you never missed any of my basketball games or baseball games or comedy shows when I started because you, I think, also the little guy inside you is also a FOMO sexual. Yeah, it, it, it is true. And you know what? My same thing, same, same thing with, my, with my dad. He might not be the same as me, but it's totally no FOMO. Right. You know what I mean? Right. No FOMO. Yeah. It's totally no FOMO. And uh, yeah. Many tales of woe and success were recorded regarding early Bitcoin transactions. Let's take a look. Okay. Some of them include the first ever Bitcoin transaction, Chris. Right. Was the purchase of two pizzas. Ooh, I'm hungry. With 10,000 Bitcoin by Hany H-A-N-Y-E-C-Z. Hany Hany Hanyez. Hanyez. Hany 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 On May 22nd, 2010, a situation that will most likely be in had I known case, owning to the current value of Bitcoin. Today, this transaction is tagged as the most expensive food order in history. Hold on. Again, these stories only make me say what is going on. So the, per the first ever use of Bitcoin as a currency was used to order two pizza pies. Right. And in today's... Value. If you adjust, the pizza pies were purchased for three million dollars. That's what it is for three mil. He bought them with. He. Let me ask you a question. What pizzeria is at the forefront where they're like, like, you know, like fat <laughs> sales, and then they're like, "What do you want to pay in Bitcoin?" Hey, but can we do that? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll take the ten thousand. And by the way, is that pizzeria? Are they now? Do they just own oil somewhere? I. I yeah. I. Dude, I have no freaking clue. You imagine you buy Bitcoin when that early, where you own ten thousand, where it's like it's nothing. Like you yeah. don't know if it's real. And then you call a pizza place, and you're like, "I'm a little short." There's this thing called Bitcoin. I was wondering if I can get. Half pepperoni, half sausage, right. and I want a white pie, you know, with extra garlic. 
Like, I'm gonna, do you know what Bitcoin is? Would you take 10,000 Bitcoin for these two pizza pies? Yeah. Like, what does that even mean? No, dude. I Who's a- that guy that he was so ahead of the curve that he's buying Bitcoin and then begging pizzerias to accept the Bitcoin for, for, for basically sustenance? It might have been Sakashi Hakamoto. It could have been. But I don't know if I don't know if he likes pizza. I don't know what he's doing. But I have a friend. I have a, a, a kind of a, a, a pseudo family member almost. I won't say his name on the pod, but he will be on my podcast tomorrow. He owned a hundred Bitcoin in like 2013, and then sold them when they got up to a price of like a couple. He had like a couple of thousand dollars because he bought them for literally pennies, and he sold them to buy a car. Come on! I swear now. to God, he sold them How to buy many a car. Did he have? He had, I don't know, it was something like 95 of them or something <gasps> like that. And he sold them all to buy a car. And then last month he was in, lived in a bathtub. He was renting, I told you, something, I swear to God. No, last month he was renting a room where, where he stays. And they had a flood in his bedroom because of the floor upstairs. So he had the only option for him because he doesn't, he couldn't sleep anywhere else. Is he had to take his mattress and he has a private bathroom. So he slept in his bathtub. And he, but he he could have been a multimillionaire with Bitcoin. Is he on suicide watch? No, he's actually a pretty, he's one of those guys now where he's actually let it all go. He used to when I used to see him all the time, he always wear a hat to cover his baldness. Now he's all about his male pattern baldness. Shout out keeps.com. Use the promo code Hey Babe. K E P S dot com backslash Hey Babe. There you go. Um, he's like he's like one of those guys. Like he'll he'll show up. I um, it was you know in New York it was like twenty five degrees out the other day. He took his son sledding. He was wearing shorts, flip flops, t shirt. Nobody no cares in the world. He doesn't care. So I would say it's probably violent depression, but it's coming off as I'm the happiest guy in the world. I'm, the best thing could happen to me is I lost all the Bitcoin. He's one of those guys. <sighs> Excuse me for rubbing my eyes a lot. No. Pri- right prior to us recording the podcast, I applied a cream with retinol to my eyes. Okay. Just for a little bit of tightening and toning. Right. And I went a little cl- too close to the sun, and I got a little in my eyes, and it's tearing a lot now. Right. He didn't know that. I just wanted to let you know why I keep doing that. Back yep. to the Bitcoin. Back to the Bitcoin. Uh, By the way, at now at some ATMs, you can get money back in Bitcoin. So a Bitcoin ATM. So or financial institutions proper are accepting Bitcoin as currency. Chase, JP Morgan just got I behind didn't get it. I a memo. I've never Mo- seen that. Chase just got behind it. Wait, how do you get back money? Bitcoin doesn't come out of the ATM. No, I, I think it goes back onto it goes onto your cash Bitcoin or debit is card. Not physical. It says Bitcoin cash kiosks look like traditional ATMs, but do not connect to a bank account. Instead, connect the user directly to a Bitcoin wallet or exchange. So, they, if you have your crypto wallet or if you have your your um your Coinbase account or Gemini, this is going to sound dramatic. Okay. After hearing everything I've heard from the beginning of this podcast to right now, okay. I the way that I uh, crunch the numbers and then output this is that I fear for my life. <laughs> yeah, I do. I yeah. fear for my life because I don't understand what is going on in the world around me at large. Right. This is major. This is a monumental shift in the way that people operate, and it is escaping me despite explanation, and that makes me feel like a helpless, hopeless soul. Right. Right. I I hear you. I hear you. But do you feel this way? Did buying Bitcoin somehow mask some of that feeling for you? I, if I'm going to be 100% honest you with got, you. You got foam. You went in. Uh, yeah, listen. I, I, I acted like a FOMO a little bit, and, yeah. and, 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 I, and I sold my Bitcoin. But I got to be honest with you. I sold my Bitcoin. How, how, how long are we into the podcast now? 40 minutes. I sold my Bitcoin 42 minutes ago. You haven't stopped thinking about it. I haven't stopped. I noticed there's a gla- glaze over your eyeballs. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually depressed. Are you? They have their hooks in you. Are I'm you depressed. Brain, are you brainwashed? I'm being dead serious, Sal, right now. I swear now. to Christ. I'll, I'll swear to God. i am tell you right now, I, I literally, I literally feel like me selling that Bitcoin was the stupidest mistake of my life. And I have a tattoo on my forearm of Catholic scripture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but Elon Musk did it. Right. And so we, we, know, we know that guy is smart. Very smart. And so does that give you some type of, uh, I mean, I, I'm a guy that's putting retinol right inside my retina. Right. Right before we start. Right in. And then I just continually tear for the hour that we're trying to have a serious discussion. Right. Elon Musk is worth $180 billion. Easy. So you're saying he did it. How bad could it be? But right. here's the thing. He could stand to lose. This guy is yeah, he's, shooting from the hip like nobody's he, biz. He's Elon. Right. Yeah. So he could lose a one and a half billion dollars. Right. And that's like nothing. Remember when we did the math? I don't know if I could say this. So if not, you tell me to beep it. Yeah, no, go ahead. Remember when we did the math on what Jerry Seinfeld gave Conquin for his wedding? 
Because <laughs> it's an exorbitant amount of money. But then right. when we did off the... We it, did this. Okay. Right. No, no, no. Tell, 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 go, babe. Go. So, okay. So so I told Sal. I went yeah, to, I, you I went tell to, me. You're the one who knows what, how much you want to let go so of So I went, I went to Colin Quinn's wedding. Well, I won't give the numbers. I went to Colin Quinn's wedding. Yeah. And Colin Quinn was like, yeah, I was I was like, who did who, you get the biggest wedding gift from? And I was like, and I was like, must have been Jerry Seinfeld, right? And he was like, yeah, Jerry gave me a nice, gave me, you know, something nice. And you, when the number you told me, let's just say it was... You know, it's it's not a regular human being number. Yeah, you wouldn't normally get this number, right? As a gift from a person, right. but but I told Sal, and Sal was like, "Oh my god, they're lifelong friends." Jerry's a billionaire, and yeah. So so I said so I said I told Sal I said, "Listen, this is what this is what Colin Quinn got." And then what we did was we took what Jerry Seinfeld is publicly known to have, whether it's accurate or not, and we did a ratio of the amount that he gave Colin versus the amount of his net worth. Yes, and it was the equivalent of someone who has a uh, salary of $100,000 a year right. going to a wedding right. and giving someone $5. Yeah, it would be like the, what Jerry gave him was the same as if I gave Colin a scratch-off in his card. Right. And Exa I said, right. that's what it was. Because so, we, we heard that number and we went, we, we, almost, we clutched our pearls. Yeah, well, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money. Yes, and yeah. then we realized that to Jerry it was $5. It was $5. So Elon Musk, that $1.5 billion he's spending five is 5 bucks. 5 bucks. So he's, you're really not on the same same level because you're investing $50,000. But, Sal, but here's the good news. I did just get a, a job. It's public info now hosting a, a do-it-yourself do, do show called Backyard Bar Wars on True TV. So I'm not that far away from Elon Musk anymore. Right. I well, am hosting a show on True TV. I don't care what you say. However you make light of it doesn't matter. You have moved forward on that chart. Closer to him. So I'm, I understand the ratios are a little different. I'm a little bit closer to Elon yes. Musk now. Shout out True TV. Shout out True TV. Do, uh, do, uh, do it yourself Talk. show. We talked about Tim the Toolman Taylor in the beginning of the show. I just want to say right now, public into the camera, Tim Allen, I'm coming for you. I'm the new do it yourself guy. True TV, Backyard Bar Wars. I'll tell you right now to the people that are watching that are fans of mine for a decade, knowing that I'm on True TV, I, and if you're watching this podcast, you already know, but I have to vouch sight unseen for this show, Backyard Barbecue, Backyard Bar, Backyard Bar Wars. Bar Wars. Because it doesn't matter what the war is about. Yeah. If you're at the helm, the show is going to be quality and hysterical. I appreciate that. And by and the I'm way, telling you right now, that's yeah. that's that's no joke. I'm not even being like I'm not yeah. trying to make a joke. So and I, I, I have a question for yes. Chris. What about is Elon just hiding money to avoid giving it away in a divorce? That's a good question too. Elon he, Musk is married and getting divorced. I'm just saying it'd be a great way to hide all your wealth. And that's a great thing to get at get a job free card. That, that the government has no jurisdiction. Right. You're not paying taxes on the appreciation of your wealth. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me that you can make I don't know 200 anything about million that. in Bitcoin and you don't have to pay taxes? Uh, um I, I guess when you transfer it into your bank account, then you have to pay taxes, right? If you sell it, that if so the, here's the thing. When you sell your Bitcoin, what you're getting back is U.S. currency, like dollars. Yeah, I have U.S. currency right now, but it's also a $700, $710 fee for me to, Coinbase took out of my account for me to sell the Bitcoin. So I lost- $700? I, yeah, I thought it was, I, I told Someone's, you it was 20 you bucks. You told me, uh, yeah. That's, well, that's, what, that's what Tank Sinatra whoa, that's said. That's 35 times higher than what you told yeah, me. Yeah, well, Donnie Tsunami was wrong. Trying to hide assets during a divorce is as old as a divorce itself. <laughs> Technology has started to bring concealing wealth into the modern era. Bitcoins are now the latest innovative method for potentially stashing away money so that it cannot be found when it comes to dividing marital states. I get it. So temporarily, you're hiding, you're, you're, you're hiding uh, basically equity. You can't get my Bitcoins, babe. But That's what it when is. you cash that out and they, the government sees an influx of you made a million dollars, I'm sure you still have to pay the piper. But the point is, while it's in a blockchain or what have, whatever the lingo is, it's mine. that they're not seeing that listed in your bank accounts. And I'm not doing anything illegal by doing that. So you could, if you're worth $100 million, you could put $95 million of it into a Bitcoin, go through the divorce, and then right. get your $95 million. But then the government's still going to look and say, oh, well, where did that $95 million well, here, come from? Here we go. If you've owned the cryptocurrency for less than a year, which I have, I owned it for about seven days. It's taxed as a short-term capital gain, the same as your ordinary okay. income tax rate. According to the IRS, this means if your ordinary tax rate is below 15%, you may pay zero on long-term gains. My tax rate was below 15%, but I'm now hosting a show on True TV. Yeah. Your tax rate was below 15%? No, it wasn't. I was just kidding around. Oh, because I want to know who your guy is. Though. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. 
Here we go. The FBI is owning one of the largest Bitcoin wallets. What? Yes. That seems very, very conflicting. See, that makes me want to go in even more. Who do you mean the FBI? Like an office pool? Yeah. yeah. They're like guys who are doing an office pool, Bitcoin, FBI. A few years ago, the FBI shut down the Silk Road. Which, oh, that's, I know what that is. The dark web. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shut down the Silk Road, which is a big black market website where Bitcoin was frequently used to make different purchases. FBI acquired all the Bitcoins that were circulating around the website, which is around 1.5% of of all the world's Bitcoin. That may not sound like a huge amount, but looking at the big picture, 1.5% is considerably huge amount for one entity to own. Full stop. Yeah. So the FBI was able to legally commandeer Bitcoin of... P of, of so, so that right there, right there, is telling me that Bitcoin is not that secure. Yeah, if but... If I invested and they were able to come in and just take it. Yeah, but they also took it off a site where they were selling, you know, kidneys to people in but let third me world countries. Why is Bitcoin being traded on the Silk Road? I don't know, why? Bubba. If Bitcoin is on the up and up and also being traded in the regular internet, why is there black market Bitcoin it's transactions? It's untraceable. It's untraceable. Untraceable. There you go. But it's untraceable where? On the black market? On, on anywhere. They right. So why So why? Why work with it on, on the black, on the dark web? Because if you buy something bad, you can't be traced. Right. So then Bitcoin is possibly negatively affect it. It, it, right. Bitcoin is fueling possibly, and I'm just getting this information right. now, so I'll say allegedly, but f is fueling criminal behavior then? Is that one of its biggest critiques? Uh, not not a big percentage is criminal, but it's like cash, like it's the new cash. Right, so people are, be, are able to do nefarious acts on the black market Good word, non-traceable currency. So how does, how is, I mean, that's... I mean, you're talking probably the you know you you might even be talking human trafficking. Oh yeah, right. So right. then, so then, so then, how is the government not regulating the Bitcoin? So are you saying now because I own a Bitcoin, I'm supporting human trafficking? I, 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 I want to say that from a broad scope, okay, that could be a possibility. Could it not? I want to say that I had no intention at all. Of me purchasing Bitcoin, well, so is Elon Musk. I mean, to support. At a big I'm not rate. supporting. I'm not supporting human trafficking on the Afghan, uh, Chris, African American market. What are you saying about all the reports coming in and the articles that you are supporting human trafficking by, by while buying Bitcoin? I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to say that that is not true. I had no idea that I was supporting human trafficking on the African American market. Um, I think that black, black. Okay, I'm just trying to be. You know, culturally sensitive. Um, it's that time. I, I think that I did not mean to buy it. I did not mean to uh, support human trafficking. I don't support human trafficking. I do support Bitcoin. Shout out Shitoshi. Do you have it? I, I, mean, just, I just want to point out the CIA might have created it and the FBI has the biggest holding. I think that, that that's what I wanted to... to Wait, I don't, there's a theory that the CEI was Sakashi Damata... I think Satoshi the CIA Damatashi. created it. I think he disappeared after that other dude's meeting with the CIA, which makes me think it was just the CIA. Majority of cryptocurrency is not used for criminal activity, FYI. Well, I guess cash is used for unmarked bills as laundered, sure. they're laundered and used for cryptocurrency. I'll absolve you. <laughs> according to an excerpt uh, from <laughs> <laughs> according to an excerpt from Chain Chain Analysis, which I guess is a cute way to say chain and analysis. Sounds like dialysis. Twenty twenty one report in two thousand nineteen, criminal activity represented two point one percent of all cryptocurrency transaction volume, roughly twenty one point four billion billion dollars worth of transfers. That sounds like a lot of so, money. So 10% of 2.21 billion is 2.1 billion. Very smart. And then 2% of that. You're, how good is he at math? Are you Shikashi Hoshimoto? No, I promise you I'm not. You... Uh, I'm hearing a lot of... I am more confused than when we began the podcast. Well... And now I'm starting to think that Bitcoin is split into two camps. Right. People that cannot wrap their minds around all the different permutations and mysteries and assumptions and leaps of faith you're required to take. And then people that are just, they're just gamblers. And they're just, they've ha they have enough pieces of information to be like, I'm going to take this leap of faith. I'm unclear if even Elon Musk has every answer to every question about Bitcoin. My father told me when I was a child... He told me, because he had gotten into some trouble with gambling early in his life, he said, hey, you have to promise me, Chris, look in my eyes. He said, Christopher, look in my eyes. You will never bet on sports. You will never learn how to play cards, and you will never gamble. 
with your money. Okay. And I said, I absolutely won't. And still to this day, I have never gambled on sports. I don't even know how to gamble on sports. I don't even know. If you gave me a deck of cards and you said, find the six of spades, I'd be able to find a six. But even though it looks kind of a nine, but I don't know what even a spades is. Okay. I don't know because it was six. You heard him loud and clear. I heard him loud and clear. He never. Now, granted, he said this in 1988, but still, he never once mentioned what I could or couldn't do with Bitcoin. Right. So I'm wondering now, is that gambling part of my brain that I may have just finagling a little bit just into the Bitcoin. Like, I need to get this out of my system. Is it, is, is, is I've it, been avoiding, you know, the NHL finals. Yeah, I haven't for done 20 that. 20 years, but now this... I wouldn't put $47,000 down on, on you know, the freaking Winnipeg Buffalo Jets. City, right. But I will put it down on Bitcoin. Are you prepared to lose everything you invest? Are you mentally and emotionally and, 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 and are you prepared? What, what, what did you brace? What do you think is bracing for the worst as far as your dabbling here? I lose it all. And you're prepared for that? I, I was about, I was in, in, until about 58 minutes ago when I, I, I sold it. But, but when we were downstairs in, in the other part of the studio, I said, I'm not going to sell it. And then I did, in front of you guys, I, we got on the phone with Tank Sinatra. You he sold told, it like you were tweeting something. He told, like me, he told me about the TikTok on following his gut. I said, I follow. I like to follow my gut too. I'm all about good gut health. Uh, shout out yogurt. I'm eating a type of uh, live and active cultures. Li Activia, mm. but I'm using a, a yogurt product now called Noor Yogurt or N O O R. Are it's, they a sponsor? No, they're not a sponsor. Strike it from the record. Yeah, but it's it's like a it's like an Icelandic yogurt or a Viking yogurt as I call it, and it's really good for my bowels. So you're eating stuff the Vikings ate. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and listen, hey, if a Viking, if a Viking, well, Vikings were good people. They were yeah. No, well, no. You want to talk about the Vikings? Sure. The Vi no, they get a bad rap in history. Yeah. yeah, they did things like they decapitated people and, you know, would burn families at the stake in yeah. front of the patriarchs or whatever. But they also, they, they were very into hygiene, very into fashion. They had cool haircuts. Right. And I think if Vikings are still around today, they may be big proponents into Bitcoin. Okay. They, they like to take risks. I mean, listen, if you're going to go, if you're going to go rape and pillage a town on a whim, you can, you can put 47K in Bitcoin. Yeah, I would these think. are people that are really, really, really going against the grain. Yeah, going against yeah. the grain. So apparently this tweet by Elon Musk affected Bitcoin. Is that do that thing today? I don't like that whole thing where everybody was like, "Let's invest in Mario Kart," and then <laughs> and then they pulled the tablecloth underneath for everybody. Like he, if he can, if one person could tweet something and affect the market trend, that instability to me is also a red flag. Right, I get it, dude. But this guy Peter Schiff, he's got an eggplant in his name. He's got it's Peter Eggplant Schiff yeah. said according what's, to what's at the Elon, implication there. Well, he says according to at Elon Musk, he said Elon Musk said this. Elon Musk and I quote: Bitcoin is almost as BS as fiat money. So misc, uh, so fiat money. What is he talking about? Fiat what money, does that like mean? like the fiat the car. I think yeah. that's a solid car. The fiat. It, yeah. What is fiat money? I don't know. So I mean, isn't that the Italian small car? That's a great car. That's, that's the only fiat I know. Yeah. So, so Musk regards both hashtag Bitcoin and fiat as BS. And this guy says, I agree. I just think Bitcoin, which is digital fiat, is he? Why are they what? crapping on the fiat? It's a great car. He's even more BS than the paper fiat issued by central banks. Gold is not BS. It's Gold. real money. Wait a minute. So so Elon Musk invent, uh, invested one and a half billion dollars and then said it's complete bullshit. Well, Elon Musk tweeted at Peter Schiff. He said an email at, at, at Peter uh, Eggplant Schiff said an email saying you have gold is not the same as having gold. You might as well have crypto. Money is just data that allows us to avoid the inconvenience of barter. That data, like all data, is subject to latency and error. The system will evolve to that which minimizes both. So I don't said, know what he said. I know what he's saying there. He's saying hold tight. Hold tight. It'll prove itself. That's what he's saying, Musk. He's, he's saying hold tight. Yeah. So do I got to go back on and buy? But here's the thing, okay? <laughs> here's the thing. At least the stock market, which I also don't trust. We, we've seen it could be compromised by yeah. day traders last week when they invested in, like, yeah. in Parappa the last Rappa. Last week, we're talking about eight weeks ago, Sal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, everyone just, I don't want to be in a place where someone could be on a, on a forum and be like, let's just let's just make Parappa the Rappa stock soar. Shout so, out Parappa the Rappa. Yeah, yeah, wow, what yeah. A, that was a great game. I could never beat it. I beat it. You beat Parappa the Rapper? And you're, are you kidding me? No. Are you Shitashi Hashimoto? I, I beat Parappa the Rapper one and two. That's... I, I, I still remember the song. How could you have beaten Parappa the Rapper one and two and you can't explain Bitcoin? You know what? The world operates in mysterious ways. You're a weird guy, Sal. 
But you, how do you pay attention to Bitcoin trends? No, in other words, you have you have Bloomberg News State, you have the Nasdaq, you have the Dow, you have reports, you have the Wall Street Journal, all tracking trends in financial institutions. Right. Bitcoin, you 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 had a quick call with Tank Sinatra. <laughs> Tank Sinatra. How are you? How are you? monitoring trends in Bitcoin so you know when to sell and buy? Is it just internet talk, chatter? Uh, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you, Clubhouse. I'm on Clubhouse nightly. But that getting app into, didn't exist a month ago. I know, but I'm getting into different... I get into different Bitcoin chat rooms and we have experts talking about Bitcoin. That's Who what are I, these experts? There's a lot of Who them. Who are these experts? I mean, there's a lot of them. They're, you know, I mean, it's 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 all... I don't know. It's all pretty smart people. There's another guy, James Altucher. Shout out James Altucher owns Stand Up New York. He became the first Bitcoin millionaire. He told me to invest money in Bitcoin. The first ever? First ever. Yeah, Google James How Altucher, the Bitcoin millionaire. How is he became the first... Isn't that a really like, isn't that a badge of no, honor? He, he was like one of the first, I think he like even like advised Tony Robbins or something on buying Bitcoin. Tony Robbins? Yes, shout out Tony Robbins. Shout out Tony Robbins. First ever Bitcoin millionaire, James Altucher. Or maybe he lost it all. That's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. The he's Bitcoin fr- genius, James Altucher. I'm sorry, from Stand Up New York? He owns and operates. Yeah. Stand up is that the guy who had beef with Seinfeld? Yes, this is James Altucher. He's, he's worth $127 million from Bitcoin? Easy. Well, spot pay's got to go up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, spot pay's got to go up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Altucher, shout out James Altucher. Oh, he's the guy with that great, that great fro. Yeah, he's got a great fro. Yeah. Oh wow. There we go, James Altucher. Oh, I've been listening to him. Yeah, I've been listening to James God when he texts him. back. Yeah. So Altucher says, he says, yeah, I don't know what he's saying, but he said he said he knew about it. He said he knew about this thing back in two thousand eight. He's saying there are two hundred billion dollars in current supply of Bitcoin, right? But two hundred trillion dollars, which is in of potential demand, right? And even more if you throw in contract law. Don't know what that means. I don't know what contract law is. There's ten thousand man years of science behind it. How does he know that? I mean, it, the investment opportunity is bigger than you think. And trust him, he knows. More than trading, more than charts, more than like investing. I run a hedge fund. I've been a day trader. I run a bunch of hedge funds. I've seen every trade in the book. I've written the book. It's called Trade Like a Hedge Fund. Don't buy it. I wrote it in 2004. I worked with Jim Rogers a long time ago. He hates it. I was getting off the topic. Uh, <laughs> why does Bitcoin even exist? Why do crypt- cr- tr- cryptocurrencies even exist? He tells a crowd of around 60 people crammed into New York's Upper West Coast. Comedy club on New York's Upper West Side. I'm a uh, self-help guru. Stand up New York. Yep. So, so. I, I want to go back to Tank's advice to you to sell was based on what? A TikTok video? I heard him say. Yeah, he told me. He told me he's been following the trends on TikTok. I feel and like the simulation is hitting mass. <laughs> like ma- mass, mass. What's that word? Well, what, let me let me get what's a good what's give term? me give me one good example. Uh, uh, critical mass. Critical mass. Give me one good example of a pl- of something. Now I got forty six thousand dollars in the account where I could do it. What else could I invest in other than Bitcoin? Give me one good example and I'll do it. Uh, if it was like a long time ago, Motown. I don't know. Right. If you had forty six thousand dollars laying around, freshly new Bitcoin money, what would you put it in right now? What would you put it in? Let's say you had forty six k fresh off the Bitcoin. I don't want to feed the monster, but maybe something like an Amazon or a Tesla or something like that. But again, I'm speaking based on absolutely zilch. Right. You know what I'm so saying? So you're going to put it in Tesla? I, I don't, I don't but know. But if you put it in Tesla, it's kind of like you're putting it in Bitcoin. Nah, I don't agree with that. All right. Are you going to buy $50,000 worth of Bitcoin when the podcast ends? There's also another stock I'm getting hot tips on. It's called Palantir. They're, they're, they, they do government contracts to outsource, you know, like they're government mercenaries. They go and, and, and do stuff like that. You're investing your money that you make from telling jokes into government mercenaries now. That's what I'm doing. Where did you get the hot tip on the government mercenaries? Shout out Pat Finnegan. Pat Finnegan. Fire, Patty Fly Balls. Patty Fly Balls, FDNY's so finest. You, he's right. he's so hot on friend, Palantir. <laughs> I'm hot on Palantir. Your friend Patty Fly Balls is telling you to invest your money in government mercenaries. Listen, Sal, I got my... my I now am forming an opinion about you I hadn't had prior. My guys, my investment guys you may have you know more, you know uh charles schwab or, or Oppenheimer, whatever you have and that's fine and listen more power to you do t- you trust those guys i don't deal with those guys like that my crew tank sinatra donnie tsunami patty fly balls this is that's just gonna make that's me crazy rich. so you're in because it's i'm actually about to invest in my friend dominic di bartolomeo's 
uh, specialty Italian food store, Domenico's Foods. Right. And I'm investing in basically a, a food company, a brick and mortar store, and a, and a, and a person I have I've known for a long time. I have a lot of faith in that makes delicious foods and is a go getter and is just he's just a wonderful. And I'm I'm investing in his small business. Well, I got forty six so k lying around. Can I get it? You're investing in government mercenaries. At the request of Patty Fly Bowles and Elon Musk and and Dami Dom, 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 Donnie Tsunami. Dami Tsunami. Here's the thing. I got an option. Right? I got 46K. I can either put it more. I could put some in Palantir. I can go Amazon. I can put it back into Bitcoin or I can go into Dom DiLameo. What about Pfizer? I'm or something, Pfizer. Of, something of that nature. Like the vaccine. Yeah. Vaccine place. What about Joey Roses? Joey, oh, oh, Joey, Joey DeRoses. Roses. Joey Roses. What if I go into shop. Joey Roses? Joey Roses, by the by, and I don't know if I'm letting anything out of the bag here, but yeah. look for an expansion soon. Yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. out Taste Buds. Shout out Taste Buds. Taste, at Taste Buds every podcast Monday. on the No Pressure Network every Monday at 11. Joe DeRosa, a.k.a. Joey Roses of Joey Roses Sandwich Shop right. slash bar soon, God willing. There you go. <laughs> Maybe I'll go into Joey Roses. All right, so we're an hour and two minutes in from when I first asked, from when we sang We've come. the Hey Babe intro in place of Hungry Heart. Right, which is great. Great I call. I am more confused right now than I was earlier. So here's the question I have to ask you. Yes. We're going to end the episode with this one question. We've yes. now come full circle. Yeah. Are you in or are you out on Bitcoin? 100% in, I swear. That's it. <laughs> I'm 100% we're in. in. We're I'm a both homosexual. In. I'm a homosexual. Homosexual. We're in on Bitcoin. You should be too. We're coming at you every Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Follow us at uh, on YouTube, at Hey Babe Pod. Uh, uh, no, at Hey Babe on Instagram. At Hey Babe Pod on hey Instagram. Pod. At Hey Babe Pod on Twitter. Uh, no Pressure Networks on YouTube. I have another podcast called Chrissy Chaos. comes out every Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So go check that out. We uh, We have a good time over there. Go to, and, and Practical Joker season nine. <laughs> True TV. I'm Chrissy True TV. I'm in the True TV family now. I love it. True TV, Bitcoin, we're doing it. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away.